Hello. Today we're going to discuss about a wonderful new feature which you can use to engage your audience and utilize it for your teaching and learning more appropriately in many different aspects as well, which is a student response system and also known as audience response system. So there are many different kind of tools available. But today what we're going to talk about one of the tool in which within the PowerPoint, if you are either in a Zoom session or in a face to face, face session, you are discussing something and within the same environment of PowerPoint, you can ask audience to respond to you and you can share the real time their responses on your screens without going another way or opening another browser window, anything. So that is pooleverywhere.com. So wonderful uh, site free to use as well as the paid version and free is here to us for a small group discussions and working within your class. It's a wonderful tool. So let's start from there. So the website is pool everywhere.com P O L L E V E R Y W H E R E pool pool everywhere.com. So once you are gone there, you can create a free account there just click to sign up and use your Google or any email ID which you have so let me log in with my Gmail ID uh, because I have created already created my account so you need to click this sign up and then you can create your account from there let me show it to you because I am already uh, created my account so I am logged in from there so let me log in with a free account and that is that dashboard which you once you are within the system you can see from there there are some recent activities which I have created but it will be blank to you number one thing what you need to do where the people need to go to the response you will be in the PowerPoint mode but the where the students or your audience have to go this is the randomly it generate randomly one of the URL for you which is unique to you so usually it is by name for example you can see from here but you can edit it to make it any other thing if you like for example if I go there this is Masu Javed 510 so I can change it even I can download a QR code as well so because you can show the QR code on your screen and people can join easily from there as well so QR code can also be downloaded there so you can see here the QR code is download here which can be used to incorporate within your slides or any other way as well so it is because I have already created one that's fine so let me go back to the dashboard okay so from here you can see this is home and this is your activities which are your questions or slides if it's easier to remember then there are participants because if you have a paid account even in the some of the versions you can pre-register who will going to response reports so all the data can be extracted there as well and there are multiple things of your even you can invite the presenter as well so let me focus on the essentials and you can explore further as well so you can create your activities from here like i can click the activity from here and it can ask me to create a questions or anything which i like to have for example i can have a multiple choice question i can have word cloud question answer clickable images surveys open-ended questions or competition you can see there's so many kind of things there even you can see from there donut chart icebreakers leaderboard emotion scale so it's not restricted to simple true false or multiple choice question you can use it for the multiple other kind of stuff as well if you have something in your mind ranking brainstorming so there are multiple things so you can work within here to create your questions or responses here as well and another way you can work within your PowerPoint as well not only for using but for developing your questions within the PowerPoint as well so because I'm focusing in today's session is about the PowerPoint so let me show you how you can use the PowerPoint number one thing you need to download its plugin okay so let me go back to the main page and if I can see from here these are apps you need to first create a free account number one step next step is coming clicking the apps and from here download the version which you are using if you are using Windows Mac 
uh, Apple Keynote or you can see it from even different platforms are there so you need to download it for example I'm using Windows so I need to click from here as well and I can download the installation file for Windows dilation Windows installation file is here and I it's there within my download there as well so I need to click it start it and it will start it's install the plugin in the PowerPoint because I already installed it it's a very small plugin doesn't need to require much more time you need to close your PowerPoint and install the software so I don't install again here as well so it's pretty simpler you know that a free download is there which can be installed in your PowerPoint and once you have installed it let me show you the PowerPoint I have opened my PowerPoint here and you can see from here apart from different tabs there is one of the tab of pool everywhere is also available now within your PowerPoint so you can use it from the browser as well but you can it's easier and it's more comfortable to work on one of the software now you will be only logged in from there and you can all the work can be done from within the PowerPoint I am already logged in from here you can see from Masood Javed 510 which is the my you uh, user ID you know that and uh, so you need to click for the first time and again the same username and password you are logged in so that's how your this account of PowerPoint which is in your computer is connected to the server pool everywhere.com so that is one time you need to do it you don't need to do it multiple times it's the only one time of job required one let me clear it again create a free account and pool everywhere.com download the plugins whatever the version of Microsoft Office or any slides even Google slides you are using and install it and then open it and logged in these are the steps which you have done now you can see from here we can have new activities we can insert any other thing screenshot and activity many things which we already created so let me create a new question I am in a PowerPoint uh, a lecture for example which I delivered in one of the conference so I'll just open it here just to show you how slides can be inserted there as well so for those things I uh, go to the pool everywhere in my PowerPoint I clicked new and I clicked activity so it will open a window now here and this window will going to show me for example what there are the already questions which are available in my account I have created further but let me do it a new question so new activity so it can be a blank activity let me have a blank which is a multiple choice a word cloud if I go down true and false competition so multiple things are there let me have a, for example a multiple choice questions I want to interact with the audience with a multiple choice questions I clicked it and it will generate a question here in front of me because I'm using a less resolution so it's let me go back and make it a small resolution so you can easily okay I just changed some of the dimensions there as well okay so you can see from here so let me uh, make a question from here is your most favorite fruit okay so just a very simpler question so you can all relate it to and let me clear the spellings and of course you can see from here I for an image I can upload an image as well as a question so for example let me add few words for example apple okay strawberries okay banana okay and now here uh, is Mm, coconut okay so you can see from here I can add multiple things image can be added as a response as well you can add more options reorder things as well all things are done so I just done the mandatory things not the all the things as well so you know it and just after this I click save and a, a new activity is created and saved in my account and you can see from here you can view it from here the question is within the slide as well if I'll uh, increase the size and show you in the PowerPoint mode okay let me close it uh, okay 
uh, let me show it to you so I insert this activity from here I open the my activities this is a questions which we have what is the most which what is your most favorite fruit I clicked it and I insert slide so I clicked the my activity and click insert slide so it's asking me the default the instruction slide and the result slide or other I said only the result slide or one slide which is fine by the default setting is fine with me and I click insert and it's download the PowerPoint slide and insert within my PowerPoint window as well and you can see from here this is a question the question is there don't change anything below it because it's work with those things as well the question has been added of this question how it works as soon as you go this question is shared with your participants in the PowerPoint mode they can respond from their mobile devices by going to that link as well so you can see from here if I go in the PowerPoint mode this slide will become changed now it's zero percent at the moment you can see you can see from here uh, it asks you you can go to there ask the participant then they can go to this link and respond or even they can text and SMS as well or they can use this QR code so if I am presenting just like now I can click it so the this QR code will become more a larger one so it's easier to scan by the devices and when they response the screen will change in real time as soon as they response because at the moment nobody is responding right now but this response has been active in the same link so that's a pretty simpler thing how a one slide has been added will we'll start working on those things so you can have multiple questions with the same URL students don't have to go anywhere else but use the same one for example let me uh, click from here and insert another option which I already created let me create another questions for you and now at this point I want to make a word cloud so student can type in their message and they will come into their screen as the response to this question okay so log in okay so I'm logging here let me go to the new activity and the activity this time uh, you can see from it there's small discussion things there are large gathering questions they are interesting visuals they are icebreakers so let me go to the blank activity right now and I want to have a just a word cloud so student and you can see how it looks like people respond a word cloud will be created the more responses will be the bigger one as compared to the smaller one and true false competition there's so many things let me just go to a word cloud so I clicked here so it's asking me to create the questions so I'll edit it and uh, let me add it uh, what is your most favorite subject okay so I'm just randomly asking anything of course you, it's your response should be related to your thing that there are multiple settings which I didn't tell you before but they're the same in all the options you participant can change their response after responses if you want to limit the responses of each one they cannot add more of these anonymous participation restrict participation because otherwise it's asking their name they can answer from the web which we said yes and for example you don't want them to send a message you want them only to answer from the web which I my personal usual practice is because we cannot send a usual message from here to the other countries it says charges has been involved so I clicked off so as soon as they clicked off it will also not show to the students that they need to respond from the instructions also changed in the slide as well so the question is there and I click insert this slide and it will insert the slide within the PowerPoint and I click go back to the activities I got down and you can see here the one slide is this which is the what is your most favorite fruit and the second slide is a word uh, cloud which is what is your most favorable subject and you can add multiple slides like this because we already have some of the slides available and I guess in some of the responses are also there so let me add few so you can see them in action Oh, window is already open 
so here you can see for example let me add some of the questions as soon as you add a question it will be there uh, within their thing so how much is there because I used once here even images with the clicks can be added there you can add an image if people can click it from which device you are logged in so I selected two more slides and I clicked add them in my activity and you can see from here two more slides are added there as well let me show you how it works from the teachers perspective or the presenters perspective for example you are in this PowerPoint slide so stood uh, for example this is the pop I'm using this presentation I go to this slide in the next slide there is a question so as soon as I go to the next slide the this the if the students have to first time join it I can make this increase in size so they can uh, see the instructions better scan the QR code because they need to do it only once and also the instructions are there and I can come back within the PowerPoint and when students are responding this I can see this charts moving all on its own in real time because we don't have any audience right now so it's not like this I can go to the next slide and now you can see this is a, another question we have just created and you cannot see instructions of uh, SMS there as compared to the previous one which are there you can see from here so it's up to you what you want to do and people only have to remember once what is your URL so and it was also saved in their browser so as soon as they respond it, it will be here and you can see from below here you can uh, instructions I can delete clear responses from below here as well so once the responses are there I can clarify the responses from here and you can see there is a periodic table image and one of the responses here as a green mark if I want to clear uh, on the bottom I can you can see clear response I click clear response I said click and this will be cleared on its own without going somewhere and people can again click it and mark it so this is another question which is there this is uh, the way you can use it it's pretty easier and the slides are there which can be used and you can change these slides to any other PowerPoint as well don't change the other way around people have students have to go to peel pollav.com slash your URL and it's a breeze that you can present with expertise and engage your audience and I recommend to periodical have some questions and there are multiple kind of templates which you can use it so looking forward for your presentation with audience response system I hope it's clarify your initial things and if you have any questions or comment just post your comment here and I'll be happy to respond to your queries have a nice time in the, your next presentation where you rock and engage your audience much more appropriately bye